Hey guys, new video here. Guys, there's so many Atlas skill tree videos out there. My thumbnail, okay? This is basically what you're gonna see. Don't listen to any of those people. Don't copy a skill tree, it's cringe. And just choose based on what you have fun with. That's all. always pick what you enjoy, guys. And this tier list will be for someone who, who plays for a few weeks. So like, this is very friendly for an ouch and go gamer. The four tiers and what they mean is mid league shadow nerf tier. Okay. Fun is greater than Mita. Actual cringe is things that are like most people would just never run it because it's neither fun or rewarding enough. Every league we go through here ties into the Atlas tree. We're talking about these leagues from the points they provide on this Atlas tree and how they interact with the other nodes. Okay, this is not just like we're not just making a tier list of the leagues. Anarchy, easy. Mid league shadow nerf tier. I I I almost think this is gonna get nerfed. Every single exile that has a chance of being duped, uh, more quantity, more rarity, will have a guaranteed torment monster inside of them. You know, you might get like some divines from tabbies. You might get some some core uniques that you need. Maybe a Diety and Dawn for all the EA Andes. Uh, Anarchy is easy. If you're a noob. You don't need to think about Anarchy. It's just another monster in the map. Torment is pretty cool. Torment ties in with unique monsters in the way that um, bosses can be possessed, right? You can like spawn more ghosts. Like uh, uh, the more bosses you have in the map, the better. It's good scaling. I wouldn't be surprised if, if Torment got nerfed as well. So you can do Torment without energy. You can do energy without Torment. Okay, Onslaught's not actually in the game. Domination S tier. What's his emote? That's not what weaves look like. A nemesis is not actually on the map device, is it? You don't need nemesis for header anymore. Nemesis is kind of in the cringe tier. Invasion, I'm gonna put in the cringe tier. Um, they didn't even put these on the tree. Like there's no exotic goods anymore. Ambush, I put the good tier. Ambush has a lot of nodes. Almost here. And the only reason I say it's almost here is because there's a little bit of playing around it. Good, you, you can never really go wrong going with Ambush. Depending on your RNG with how many Diviners and Arcanists you get, it could be even better. Beyond. Ooh. It's like an investment, you know? It's with the nodes, it's good. It's just, it's just good. It's just more mobs. The mobs cannot be normal. They're always magic or better. And the more points you put into the Beyond tree, the better it is. But it, it is hard to work with if you're going any of the other ones that we'll put on this tree. And you'll see what I mean later because there's so many other good ones. Early on, you can't really handle Beyond. It's like kind of scary. You don't want put 4c into something that might not like give you 4c back ah, beyond so weird beyond could easily be in like god tier for like end game players and it could easily be in cringe for people who don't want to interact with it so i'm because it's like got a range i put beyond in good okay there it is rampage i, I think is on items now so uh it's not actually a leak mechanic it's not on the map device i think can you still get harvest infused rampage maybe but it's not really a thing you gotta worry about bloodlines is actually cringe it's i think it's the the node shows up the most often on map device like if you take a look at every single map device in any league bloodlines probably shows up the most right it's just like a very simple thing it adds blue packs and the reason it's bad because the points on the tree for other leagues hardong or blight are so insane you would choose either fortune favors the brave or you would choose something that you're more invested in replica headhunter <laughs> Warbands. Warbands isn't on the map device. All right, Tempest is not in the game anymore. There's no more prophecies. You could get it in the temple as a storm generator, but you can't get this on the tree. You can't get this on the map device. You won't deal with this this league. Talisman. Holy shit. This is actually the most cringe. No map device mods for this. No skill tree points for this. Don't worry about this. You won't ever see this. Oh my god. Parandis. Okay, Parandis is not in the game anymore, guys. It was so good that they removed it from the game. Okay, Prophecy is also removed. Don't worry about this. Not on the tree. Not on the map device. Probably won't be coming back. Essence. Easy S tier. Easy. Right there. It's one down from domination. Okay, Essence. Oh! Essence nodes seem pretty close to each other. So you can get an easy early essence uh, skill tree going. It's the most simple mechanic, I think. Besides like Harbinger, I guess. The nodes are insane. Every node is so insane. It's so easy to use. It's so rewarding. You know, it, it sells itself. It sells itself for more expensive by stacking it up. Uh, if you're a noob and you don't know, things sell for more in bulk and PoE. And these things just stack up. If too many people do it, it'll be a little bit more cringe. Um, but the note, we actually have new nodes too. There are actual new nodes on the tree that we didn't have on the Malvin nodes before, so it makes it exciting to play with. Uh, you do have to trade, though. You gotta trade. Uh, if you don't have an Essence tab, then uh, it's okay. You can uh, you can sell 3 to 1 to a vendor to upgrade it. You, you can do Essence with anything else or with nothing else. Like, if a noob could pick one thing, okay, let's say that they had, like, I don't know, 20 points. I think Essence would be the pick. I would still recommend Domination, honestly. Okay, buy a goal for 1C and then do it, but, like, I don't want to get too biased. I want this to be 
a non-biased uh, take, which is like an interesting one, which is actually good. For me, is like as the lead goes on, it like slowly goes down here because of speed. Lots of the nodes were unchanged from the Lyra Artane version. It's kind of boring, right? You're just kind of waiting there, you know? Uh, there is a new Breach Lord that drops like any kind of Breach Stone or Splinter, which is cool. I like those additions and updates to the leagues. Overall, for the time you spend, I would find that the price of the Breach Stones and stuff and the drop rate of the Uniques make it just slightly less good than other things. If you have a good build and you're spamming through the map with your one button build and killing the whole screen, Breach will feel very empty because you don't feel like you're actually playing a good build. Almost any build will cl clear the Breach on time, right? And then just like standing around, there's like no mobs uh, once it gets too big. Legacy. Okay, Legacy's not in the game. All right, Harbinger. Easy ST. Here. Okay, I'm gonna put the hard donger. I think domination is the best, but like, is hard donger better than essence? I'm gonna put a hard donger here. You have to buy the scarab, okay? So good though. It could, it's probably here. I guess objectively, it's right here. If too many people do essence, it becomes worse. If too many people do harbinger, it's not actually that bad. Um, the amount of harbingers you get or that you can apply to a map is too easy to do. Uh, the mechanic is simple. Spawns monsters, you kill them, you pick up loot, that's it. You can never lose mobs on harbinger like you can on breach if you suck. If you die to a harbinger, you, guess what? You didn't lose anything, right? You didn't lose those mobs. If you run out, out of the screen, you didn't lose them either. And it's also kind of an essence effect where if you bulk your, your ancient orbs and stuff, you can sell them for more. Abyss. Ooh, Abyss is good. Actually pretty easy, but kind of annoying at the same time. But it has a new mechanic there can be six modules and six modules can be very expensive they're already identified so it's loot filter friendly uh it's a new kind of item in the game which is insane i just, I just don't like when like as abyssal depths are kind of cringe i don't like abyssal depths the liches i don't think are rewarding enough i mean you get some free hollow fossils now on the rare items it drops you get six mod uh, abyssal jewels seems like you can get more like farming of liches for i guess samurai's eye Bestiary. Cringe. This is a perfect example of cringe, but fun or worth. Bestiary, you can make a ton of money on. If you're new, you might wonder like how people have so much juice sometimes and so many beasts and so many items that are the same and shit. If you don't know what you're doing, it sucks. Einhardt can only capture one beast at a time. So the more beasts you add from the Atlas nodes, the slower you are. If you want to interact, you gotta go to a separate zone. You gotta like go to your menagerie. Unlike other things like Alba, if you decide not to do Alba for a while, guess what? You didn't lose any temples at all. Your temple didn't get worse. If you decide not to do best rate for a while and you're spamming your T16 maps really fast, like a toxic sewers, you might actually end up in a situation where the beasts are overriding each other, right? Depending on how long this goes on for. And that's a, a stress level that I don't want to deal with. That happened to me with ferric apes. I was buying ferric apes from these Russians. And I kept spamming them. And then when I typed it in, it was like the same amount. And I was like, where'd they go? Oh, there's a limit to ferric apes. That's crazy, bro. I was just deleting ferric apes. That shit's crazy. You never know how many you have. Some of the later crafting and, and the way that you're going to juice your stuff, you have to use bestiary. But it's just annoying. It's super annoying. I hate it, dude. Mm. Incursion's almost S tier, right? So the history of incursion is that it's been nerfed a few times. It used to be 100% magic uh, in each incursion. They nerfed that down to one third. There used to be this bug, this one league, where if you got a Wealth of the Whale, which is a tier three currency room, it would guarantee a mirror shard. Low Qs and Dorians will always sell at any point in the league. You get a little bit of everything in the temple. You got a lot of mobs. And all the loot drops at the end. So that's like kind of fun. So I would say incursion is very good. I would recommend saving your album missions for those nodes though. Like there's a situation where you don't have enough or you have a better farming strategy it doesn't contain alba save your alba temples from the map device for this and th this will go for every single master we talk about never run your master without the nodes spec the only reason i don't put it in like this s tier is because there's like more thinking involved like maybe if you're a noob or something delve cringe when you're playing delve you are a delver you're not interacting with anything else. There's no, like even lab runners get to interact with Scourge. Like, you are playing standard and you're like not benefiting from any of the Atlas tree. Like I will do this religiously on the first two weeks because you know, cities, uh, recipes, uh, cool stuff in there. But after that, it's so bad. But you know, if you like it, and you like the bosses down there and you're good at it. Yeah, why not? Why not? That's why I put in the cringe but it's fun and worth. You can take some really nice nice nodes on the tree too, okay? It, make, it does make the maps that you're farming for sulfur tea spawns way more fun. Betrayal, ooh! Okay, Betrayal is, is I'm gonna put it actually in here. Like, it, it's like better than like Nemesis, but it's, it's like, okay, it's above Delve, but not above Bestiary. It's like a separate game. It's like some kind of like murder mystery game. Like, if you ever play Clue, you know, like in, in Sunny, in Always Sunny, there's like the thing with Charlie and he's trying to find Pepe Silvia. It's kind of like that, right? It's super rewarding, but the way you do those rewards, it like kind of takes you out of the game. You gotta like set things up. And, and there's always a worry. Like, it's the only system in the game, I think, where if you press the wrong button, you will erase 
two, three, four, whatever weeks that you're into the league, it will erase the entire league's work that you put into that mechanic, okay? No other mechanic has this. Like, in Incursion, if you kill the wrong architect, okay, I lost my Locust. Whoops, my bad. In here, if you mess up Betrayal, you're setting yourself back potentially by... by the entire time of the league. I always believe that when you're in a league and you're trying to learn this, it's never worth to learn it inside of a league. It's only worth it to learn it when the league is dead and you're not playing the game anymore. If you're randomly hitting buttons, you will get a Katarina no matter what. At that point, what are you even doing, right? Just, just do some other, right? So this is not new friendly and it's just not worth. Early on, you won't have the June missions. It's like impossible to get these missions and they're really expensive. The reason it's here like worth, because it is worth. You, you can farm. The way that they change the, uh, the leader of the safe house now, is you can rotate your houses faster now. The nodes make it so that more people show up. And so rotating a two house strategy is insane. Uh, doing Cat Arena is easier too, because now that we know early you don't have the missions, you can just you know spam that 10 intelligence per uh, encounter and you can farm Cat Arena all day for like the first few weeks. Synthesis. Okay, Synthesis is on the map device in the same way that Uncharted Realms had it before. I don't know. I don't think the points are worth it on the tree. If you get like an insane circle ring, it could be like um, like a mirror or more. I'm, I'm going to put it here. I'm, I'd say for most people, it's it's not worth using the points on that over anything else. Legion. I put Legion in the, in the good tier. Almost mid-league nerf tier because it did get nerfed many times. It's also map dependent. It's, it's very map dependent. Yeah, it's a lot of clicking. You will never be able to buy a Legion Scarab and not make money, right? It's one of those things where like if you put Beyond for forcing on a map, and you count what you get from the beyond, you're not gonna make 4C if you're uh, if it's like day one, right? Uh, but with Legion, you put a Legion Scarab in on day one, you're gonna make that, whatever whatever that Scarab costs, you will make it back 100%. It has to be like, you know, the best of the good tier, right? Next, Blight. Oh, this might get nerfed actually. This seems like numbers wise, numbers wise, this seems a little bit OP. It's like a lot better than we what we had in Lyra Artane in the past. Biggest adjustment is that multiple blights can spawn. Like the maps, the oils, the quantity, the monsters, the speed, the luckiness of them. There's an oil extractor sometimes, which like if you just randomly drop a jewelry that has, uh, let's say you drop Whispers of Doom, right? Three golden oils. You automatically get a, a golden oil. Okay, this is another one of those things like uh, Legion where you buy that Scarab, you're never going to lose money. Okay, it takes a long time. I would recommend if you're a noob, you buy the Scarab, you get all the nodes first, and then you run the map, and you sell all the Blighted Maps, okay? Because Blighted Maps are kind of cringe to me. Sell them to the Summoner Andes, okay? So you sell all your oils, you sell all your Blight Maps, and, and you make a ton of money. Metamorph! Would you rather run one Blight or one Heist Contract? This one's very tough. I would say that it's worth click on, like, these organs. There's, like, a separate area for the bigger organs. You might not have enough to, like, fill, you know? You might be missing some eyes, even though they said they fixed that. It's, like, a free, super juicy monster. Um, it's okay. Like, if you guys ever done the Foundry boss, if you like the Foundry map boss, you'll probably like Metamorph. Now, I know a lot of guys will disagree with this. I'm putting Delirium in the cringe, but, like, fun and worth here because delirium is like how do i describe this you can't farm in a juicy way without delirium you just you just aren't doing it if you hear people talking about exalts per hour they're doing delirium in some way delirium kind of goes hand in hand with everything else you add to the map it adds monsters quantity rarity it adds like special uniques it adds like all kinds of side content with like simulacrum stuff it's it's so crazy how big of a part of the game it ties into if you have a shitty computer it sucks if you don't like slowing down randomly without knowing why it's bad it feels like you're you're playing on oceanic servers if you're from like na it makes everything a little bit less cozy uh delirium is also map dependent if you run things like you know what's a good map atoll toxic sewers uh misa if you if you're just running it randomly it could just go the wrong way like nothing is is your fault but you just chose to go the wrong way and now your delirium is gone whoops thank god nemesis 4 is gone too i never skipped delirium never skipped a delirium mirror actually harvest goes like right below delirium maybe it's, it's like actually maybe above harvest makes you have to like alt tab out of your game sometimes and that's like that's omega cringe right, you gotta go to some shady shady back alley dealings like you it's like it's like those movies where the guy is blindfolded and put in an SUV and they drive him someplace and he opens the door, there's like these Italian dudes and there's a bunch of, there's like a fog machine in the room and everyone's smoking and like, and, and they're like, they're like, you know, it's like the Godfather or some shit. It's so cringe, dude. Most people don't know how to fully utilize Harvest. It's just more annoying because there's a lot of reading involved. Storage space is like incredibly limited for them. I wouldn't put too many points in Harvest if you're just like a map enjoyer. It's so sweaty, it's gross. 
Yo, where does Heist go? What do we say about Heist? Dude, here Heist and Joyer, they extended the league by like two months because of Cyberpunk. The reason it's so cringe with the Atlas nodes is because it doesn't uh, tie into anything else. So it's like Delph, but like with doors, okay? So imagine you're running out of the car and just open a door sometimes. That's basically the Heist. It's very clunky because you can't trade if you're in the Heist and no one's going to go to the Rogue Harbor and meet you there. You have to go back to the Rogue Harbor, then back to your hideout and then trade the guy and they got Rogue Coin into back into the Harbor and then back to the heist. Contracts, the coins, the blueprints can be sold. You do get the heist contracts, blueprints, and currency for free when you're mapping. So it's not like something you need to think about. This really needs TFT. So this and harvest need TFT, I'd say. And that's cringe. Uh, now you can go, you know, you can go 500, 600 maps, no mirror. The second nerf is I don't think, I don't think you get 86, 85 blizzard crowns anymore. Uh, also, let's talk about the most cringe thing about Ritual. You need to find four altars, if you have four altars. And you need to remember to press the button at the end, okay? If you leave without it, you could have lost whatever was... Uh, you know, it's like, it's a very scary thing, okay? I've done it a few times, It's it feels bad, okay? I used to have nightmares about it. And oh, and the worst part about it is shadow nerfs. Like, they, they shadow nerf this all the time, and it sucks. Ultimato! Okay, Ultimato's not in the game. You don't need to worry about this, but it's, uh... It's good. They plan on adding more waves to ultimatum, right? That's what they said. Once again, this is not on the skill tree. It's not on the map device. It's not in the core game. This is not in the game. So don't worry about it. But in the future, ultimato is sick. Just plenty of monsters, plenty of rewards. Expedition, is it cringe? It's like, ah, uh, no, it's good. It's still good. You can still sell the log. Because it's just like, it's very involved, right? It's like, this is one of those things. If you like Expedition, you know how to do it. I would actually recommend it. They did a mid league nerf to this in Scourge League. But overall, it's like, is you have placed explosives, you need to put the points on the skill tree. There are some very nice points on the skill tree, right? Same as like we, we had in Lyrartane. Um, now, I do know that Mage Blood is incredibly easy to get with Expedition. So that's why like I want to put it up here. When you go into a log book, which is the way you farm the Mage Blood with the, the artifacts, you don't benefit from any skill trees. Like the moment you go into a log book, uh, you have you're basically playing standard. Scourge. Okay, Scourge is not in the game. Yeah, it's it's not in the game anymore. It didn't go core. Uh, it's not on the skill tree. It's not on the map device. So we don't need to think about this. Talk about Scourge. They missed out on so many possibilities, guys. Like what what is going on over there at Grinding Gear Games, boys? If I was a in a leadership position at Grinding Gear and I played the game and I heard of some of these things that were happening in Scourge. I would run into Chris's office and be like, yo, 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 yo. Players just created Endgame for us. No development time for free. And it's like legit chase stuff. Let's put out a post that says, hey, we're glad someone discovered a new mechanic, right? We're glad that players were able to find out some secret stuff that we put in the game. No, instead, they just nerfed it, bro. They just nerfed it. They just deleted it from the game like a day later. Are you serious? I'm still I'm still salty about it. And that kind of decision making is so cringe to me. God damn. You know the rules. No fun allowed. What was the nerf? Well, okay, there's a few. Let, 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 should we walk through it? Do we want to go down memory lane? There was this item called a Vol's Protector. Okay, you might have heard of it from the cast on crit days, okay? Um, lots of us didn't even have it on our loot filter because it's like a one ouch unique. Could reduce your mana to the point where you had every aura right? because, you know, anything times zero is zero. Makes sense, right? It was incredibly hard now to get the items because it required a Scourge attempt, okay? So now you have a reason to use the top slots, which before no one gives a shit about the top slots, right? When's the last time you care about the top slots? No one cares about top slots. Now you have everyone trying to, number one, buy Vol's Protector, which is like a medium range item, right? Not not like Shaft's tier, but like probably like a Starkonja's. It's like an actual end game chase because not only do you need the, the, the unique that you can't buy anymore, right? It went from like zero to like, what? Like, like two, three, four, 10 exalt. And the Orobot wouldn't have even been as good as the old Orobot, but it's still some like fun, really fun thing to do. There was this thing where you could add, how do I explain this like the most simply? Uh, there were nodes on the Scourge tree that let you add explicits, right? It would add an explicit to the unique item. So like, for example, if you had a bow, like a Death's Harp or something, or Death's Oath, it would just add the, the thing to the bow. So you get an extra arrow. You get all these crazy explicit mods who are unique. It was insane. And it could be for any unique. So you're like, you basically, what you do, you take a look at all the lists of Scourge. 
okay it's completely random and it's weighted okay it's remember it's weighted so it's not like you you just get it okay holy shit think about the end game if that were still in the game you would care more about not filling in your top slots more than your bottom who cares if someone gets something really good like what does that matter there's like harvest crafted items in standard so scourge had a lot of potential i forgot the youtube outro guys um so okay so that's my video guys thanks for watching my video uh stream every day on uh, twitch.tv slash cute dog underscore uh like oh like if you made it this far like and and subscribe and hit the notification bells it helps the more on the, the algorithm it helps me in the algorithm and um yeah poggies all right bye can't wait to add this image to it it's gonna be sick let's look at the price of the goal you guys ready unique armor all right here we go here we go where is it oh shit oh shit look at this guys look Look at these lines. I've never seen this on a unique before, really. One C on day one. Oh, 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 big spike. Yo, someone is manipulating it on day 99. Someone manipulated it and went up to 1.04 C. Yikes. Because like, why would it jump from one to 1.4 C? That I, I would I would not pay for that. I would not pay for this at 1.4 C. That's cringe. All right, this is like, this is like losing money. Cause look, I can just buy it again on in three days for one C. Every one of these skill points, I want to feel those inside me. They're like anal beads, right? Like, look, look at these. They look like anal beads. If you just take like, a string of these, like, are you going to fit like two, three, four, five beads? No, I'm going to fit 128 in my ass. And I want them to be always felt, right? Like, just rip it out really fast. Rip, rip it out as fast as you can. And that's me entering a map, dude. I feel like, ah, ah, I can feel, I can feel them. I can feel the nodes. Yes. Diadian. 19C on day one. Sheesh. Day one, you need 70C, right? But according to Firegrass on Twitter, this is day one. On day three, guess what you have? Guys, on day three, you have 800 exalts. Don't ask me how, but it's true. All right. Easy game because... <laughs> Because Firegrass told me that if you go EA totems, you can have an easy three day three four five um uh beige blood. So you know, don't worry about it. Because on day three, you have a mage blood, and, and then you know just just farm another seventy C, and you got that. Look at that easy game, easy game. Or sorry, no no, th that's backwards. Farm the seventy C no matter what. Okay, do like suck whatever cock you need to suck to get an aura bot in your party, so you can push some some scarabs and legions and breaches okay and then get that 70 c because on day three you have a mage blood congratulations you've won hideout is is lava okay it's like this lava this is this is your hideout would you would you stay here hmm? no no if this was if this is your hideout you want to you want to not be here okay just imagine that you don't want no, no you don't want to be here this is this is your average redditor right here okay you see right here we have we have the average poe redditor right here okay and this you know what this represents this is your hideout but, but it's also something much more deadly in decision indecision okay getting stun locked while watching a youtube video where um where grimro is telling you that you're doing it wrong and now you're not killing any monsters, okay? What you're what you're doing is you're, you're you're just like not even playing the game. You're letting some guy like like f your wife or something. It's kind of like that, dude. Mhm. Mm What's an indecision? Indecision is where you cannot decide. You are in from the Latin root in indominus. In means not, like cannot. Decide, decision, choosing. Right? Right? From the root des, deciduous, like the tree. And jin. I don't know what that is. Wait, wait, wait I think I spelled this wrong. Wait, wait, I think I spelled it. It's like, in, wait. Wait, hold on, hold on. There we go. Is that right? Indes I spelled it wrong. Indecision. There it is. Easy game. Don't look like this guy. Or, uh, sorry, don't, not, not don't look like this guy. Don't be like this guy. Well, you probably don't want to look like this guy either, because this guy, this guy ate too much McDonald's. This is like me in like three months after, uh, after too much farming in, in Arc Nemesis, okay?